Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a healthy eggless chocolate cookie recipe. No maida, no refined sugar, no dairy milk, no eggs. A perfect healthy treat for the whole family. So let's get started with the recipe. Chocolate cookies. First I'm making a vegan milk and for that I have already soaked about 8 to 10 cashew nuts for 10 to 15 minutes. Instead of uh, cashew nuts, you can also use soaked and peeled almonds. I am adding the soaked cashew nuts into my small chutney grinder. Add in 1 4th cup water. I am going to blend this really well to make fresh homemade cashew milk. Instead of cashew milk, you can use any plant based milk of your choice. Ok now the fresh homemade cashew milk is ready. I am going to keep this aside. Now if you don't have any intolerance to dairy milk, you can use dairy milk instead. Into a bowl, I am adding in half cup wood pressed coconut oil. Wood pressed coconut oil has a very neutral flavor and taste. Hence, uh, I like to use them in my baking recipes. However, you can use A2 desi ghee or melted butter instead. Into this, I am adding in half cup grated jaggery or you can use jaggery powder instead. I am using locally sourced organic jaggery which does not have any sand or dirt or dust particles. Hence, I am adding it directly into the bowl. And what I have done is I simply grated the jaggery on a grater and measured half cup. You can use melted jaggery also known as kakwi or jaggery powder. Even coconut sugar or maple syrup will work just fine. And with a whisk I am mixing this really well. A couple of minutes of uh, mixing will be needed to make the jaggery incorporate really well into the wood pressed coconut oil. For those who are new to wood pressed oils, wood pressed oils are also known as cold pressed oils. Once mixed, I am adding in 1.5 teaspoon vanilla extract, 1 fourth teaspoon pink Himalayan salt or as needed. And to this I am adding in 1 cup of kapli wheat flour. Kapli wheat is an ancient variety of wheat grain which has a very weak gluten molecule. It is also high in fiber, hence I prefer to use kapli wheat in my recipes. Kapli wheat is also known as emmer wheat or samba wheat. If you don't have kapli wheat at hand, you can use ordinary whole wheat flour instead. I have already shared a video on the health benefits of kapli wheat and why you should be including it in your diet. Please do check it out to understand more. And to this I am adding in 1 tablespoon arrowroot powder. 1 4th cup raw cacao powder. Now if you don't have raw cacao powder at hand, you can use ordinary cocoa powder instead. Add in half teaspoon baking soda. Lightly mix the dry ingredients. And then slowly mix the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Add the homemade cashew milk little by little. and mix with the spatula. Kapli wheat absorbs moisture more than ordinary whole wheat flour. So you may need to keep an eye on the vegan milk when you are adding it. So add little by little when you are mixing the dough. Add the rest of the milk and mix with the spatula into a dough. And I am mixing the dough with my hand really well. And now the cookie dough is ready. At this moment I have preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius and uh, I am also lining my baking tray with parchment paper. Now I have already shared how to make uh, cookies without an oven. Please do check it out if you want to bake without an oven. Links will be updated at the end of this video. I am taking small portions of the dough and rolling it into a round dough and I am placing the dough onto the parchment paper. And I am placing roughly chopped dark chocolate on top of the cookie and lightly pressing it down. And now I'm going to bake in my preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 12 to 15 minutes. 
Remember that oven temperature varies with oven. So keep an eye on it after about 12 minutes. And after 12 minutes, the cookies are nicely baked. I'm going to allow the cookies to cool down on the pan itself. So guys, do try this healthy chocolate cookie recipe and let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.